Hi. So I've gotten lots of requests to do a video about the gantry crane that I made. So that's what I'll do. Now it's already built, so I can't really do a build video because I really don't want to build a second one. <laughs> um, but I thought I'd go through the order that it was made and how it was put together. So I think, I think that will work just as well. Um, one thing, one thing, one point I want to make is that I'm not a structural engineer. So if you build this, use it at your own risk. Um, it's worked for me with a lot of things, but it's, it's just kind of what I came up with. So in building the crane, I built the legs first and I built those by sandwiching two two by sixes around the four by four post. And what, what that gives me is a space to put the bracing between the ends of the two by six foot and the post. So this will help hold the vertical posts up without tipping over. And once I had one of those made, I made a second one. And what, one thing that's really important is to make sure that all of the connections are done with bolts and not with screws so that they're all very strong pin connections at each end of each connection. Now, once the legs were made, I could then make the beam that runs between the two legs that makes the actual gantry of the gantry crane. What I did for that is I added a two by four spacer on each side of the post and then attached the two beam pieces that make up the beam of the gantry. So what they gave me was a space to put the bracing between the leg and the gantry. Now to, to actually attach the chain fall or the chain hoist, I put two two by fours on top of the big two by 12 beams. This holds a piece of iron pipe that I use as the hold for the chain hoist. And this means that I didn't have to drill any holes in the big beam and it holds the chain hoist up higher so that the mechanical part of the chain hoist can be up inside the beam. And that's really about it. It's really pretty simple. Now when I first built this, the idea was that I would use it to unload things from the truck. So I made it wide enough so that the truck could back up between the two posts. But what it's ended up being is I keep it in the shop and it lives by the door now and I use it to bring things in and out of the shop. And then once things are in the shop and on a cart, I'll move the crane around to pull whatever it is off the cart that it's on and onto the floor. And I've used it a little bit to hold the camera in certain positions to get shots that are difficult to get. When I first built it, I didn't have it on wheels, but I found pretty quickly that it was nice to have it on wheels. When you're lifting something with this, it's really important to lock the wheel so that the legs have something that doesn't want to roll out from under the weight. <laughs> One thing that's not really a problem, but I've noticed because it's wood, the vertical posts have dried and twisted, so the legs aren't really parallel aren't really parallel anymore. It, it doesn't really affect the function. It just looks a little funny and it doesn't really fit into some places sometimes because the legs are a little screwy, but they're, they're, they're straight vertically. They've just, they've twisted. So that, that's something to think about if you're making something like this out of wood. There's spots on the legs where I still have it screwed together and I'd like to build some two by plates that fit on each side so that those can be bolted to the post instead of being screwed into place. I think that'll, that'll make it a lot stronger. The iron pipe that I have that holds the chain fall just sits in the hole. There's, there's nothing really keeping it from falling out except for the, the friction made by the weight of whatever you're holding. It's worked fine so far. I mean, the, the pipes not come out when I'm trying to, trying to lift something, but something to do would be to add some end caps to that pipe so that it can't slide out of the hole that it's in. And something that I'd like to do just because it sits here at the door is to 
is to make a hook that holds the chain out of the way so that it's not right in your face when you walk into the shop. It should be kind of nice, just so it's sort of stowed a little bit better. So that's the gantry crane. I hope that was helpful.